We have a go for auto sequence start. Challenger's computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions. The ground launch sequencer will now serve in a support mode. They're at about 20 T seconds now for the launch, and, and let's listen in as they count down the last few seconds before seconds. Challenger. The computers have armed the SRB ignition, hold down post, and T-0 umbilical. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have an RSLS abort. We have an abort. GLS safing in progress. BFS and pass are showing 101. GLS safing is in progress at this time. Uh, CD, CDR uh, GPC uh, computer mode uh, 5. Switch to halt. Okay, halt. 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 We have a cutoff. We have an abort of this afternoon's launch attempt. T0, LH2 thought. GLS uh, verify SRP ignition. Separation organ is safe. Fire exploiter on the pad has been activated. The uh, we are go for APU shutdown. Okay, let's see if we can get some uh, readings in the white room off those uh, monitors up there and get the arm back. No indication as of this time, precisely, is why we had this abort of this afternoon's launch attempt. We have had a redundant set launch sequence or cutoff. We have no, uh, no fire, no leak, fire. So the shuttle Challenger fired up on the launch pad and then shut down. I heard uh, computer number five uh, ordered shut down, and uh, they were as close to launch as you could get and uh, you can see the uh, water being sprayed on the shuttle to uh, cool it down. They say they do not have any leaks and uh, there is no fire, but they are trying to cool it down uh, before they uh, get out of the shuttle. So it looks as if we will not have a launch today and they will be doing some studying of uh, what caused the uh, automatic shutdown and the automatic sequence at the last few seconds. Exactly, you could see the main engine start actually and the shuttle began to torque up as the engines came on. Uh, they were throttling up and then something in, something as the computer checks thousands of things per second at the, to make sure everything in the vehicle is running. Something, once, you've, once they have committed to start the solid rocket boosters, you can't stop those once they're started. So you stop the main engines, then you cool everything down. Now they, you can see the white room is back out to the side of the shuttle. They'll offload the crew at this point as soon as things are safe. How much danger were they in uh, on a last second abort like that? Well, this is the second one of these that we've had. It seems to have gone smoothly in both cases. They're danger it's dangerous in that there's a lot of explosive fuel around. They're not, the only the crew is around the vehicle at that point. They've uh, moved the uh, white room into, into place and will probably uh, be opening uh, the hatch right now, uh, trying to get them out as soon as possible. The uh, is uh, in the process of uh, uh, backing out of this launch attempt, making sure that everything is safe on the vehicle. Uh, we have no report yet as to what caused this abort. We uh, got down to approximately the uh, T-minus three second mark. How long is it going to take to, to actually get the crew out? We did out? have uh, engine start. I think that normally is a fairly rapid thing. I would say tens of minutes sort of thing. They've got to make sure everything's shut down and they've got to op open the hatch and get out. They've already got the arm out there to them. So they'll have to actually bring the people back to the pad. Uh, is there a safe area where they stay halfway between the firing room and the uh, and the actual there? It depends on the, the the severity of the situation. They can they can go from the top of the tower, which you see here, off to the left down a slide wire in a uh, sort of a basket that carries them away from the tower if they have to, if it's a dangerous situation. It is dangerous now in that there's a lot of fuel around, but if the, if it's not a uh, uh, appearing to be a uh, rapidly worsening situation, they probably would not use the slide wire. They have just announced that uh, the shuttle Challenger is safe on the pad. They got down to just three seconds before liftoff. The uh, main engines of the actual orbiter were firing, and a computer is controlling measures 
hundreds of uh, different instruments in the last few seconds, and when it finds something wrong, the computer will actually force a shutdown of the uh, orbiter's uh, main engines, and uh, so we are in the process now of uh, uh, safing the entire shuttle, turning all of the switches off that need to be turned off, and the seven astronaut crews will uh, be removed from the uh, shuttle and uh, moved away from the pad area. We'll be back on CNN.